Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to share with you a story that I really enjoy. It is called Charlie Anderson. It is by Barbara Amber Crombie, and the pictures are by Mark Graham. As you look at the pictures, pay close attention to little details because you'll notice the pictures are kind of dark and monochromatic. Monochromatic means the pictures are often very much the same color. So we're going to see a lot of purples and grays. So we want to look really carefully in the pictures. Charlie Anderson. So you can see a cat coming in a door. Charlie Anderson. Now there's a cat sitting next to like a bowl. One cold night, a cat walked out of the woods, up the steps, across the deck, and into the house where Elizabeth and Sarah lived. And I always enjoy looking to see there's pumpkins, so it must be like October. Here comes Charlie Anderson. And the girls' names are Elizabeth and Sarah. He curled up next to their fireplace to get warm. He watched the six o'clock news on TV. He tasted their dinner. He tried out their beds. He decided to stay. And the girls named him Charlie. Every morning, Charlie disappeared into the woods again. So he comes in the evenings, but every morning he goes back out the door and goes outside. You can see the girls are in their nightgowns. At night, when he came home, Elizabeth brushed him clean, fed him dinner, and made him a place for and made a space for him at the foot of her bed. He liked Elizabeth's bed the best. Sometimes she would wake up in the middle of the night and hear him purring in the dark. Sarah called him baby and dressed him up in doll clothes. When it snowed, Elizabeth and Sarah's mother heated Charlie's milk before he left for the woods. He grew fatter and fatter. And every day he purred louder and louder. So the snow has come. So now Charlie's been there for a while. So for a few months. On the weekends, the girls stayed with their father and stepmother in the city. They wanted to bring Charlie with them, but their mother said he would miss the woods. Charlie's a country cat, she told them. See, Charlie, he's trying to go in their suitcase. One stormy night, Charlie didn't come home. Elizabeth and Sarah stayed out on the deck and called and called his name. But no Charlie. Where was he? Why wouldn't he come out of the woods? Was he all right? Look, they're wearing their rain jackets. They're looking for him. All night long, Elizabeth listened to the rain beating on the roof, and the wind rattling the windows. Was he cold? Was he hurt? Where was Charlie? In the morning, Elizabeth and Sarah looked for him. They asked the lady down the road if she'd seen their cat. She said no and offered them cookies, but they were too worried to eat anything, even her chocolate chip cookies. They went to the new house on the other side of the woods. Have you seen our cat, they asked. His name is Charlie. He's very fat and has gray striped fur. We have a cat with gray striped fur, said the man. But his name isn't Charlie. It's Anderson. He's upstairs asleep on our bed. They heard a meow. And down the stairs came a very fat cat with gray striped fur. Charlie! Sarah and Elizabeth cried. 
No, that's Anderson, said the woman. We've had him for seven years. Right, Anderson? He looked at her and began to purr. But it's Charlie, Sarah said. He looked at her and purred louder. Is he ever here at night, Elizabeth asked. Anderson is a hunter, said the man. He prowls the woods at night. Charlie sleeps in my bed at night, Elizabeth said. He leaves for the woods after breakfast. Anderson comes home at bedtime. No, Anderson comes home at breakfast time, said the woman. He leaves right after dinner. They all looked at the cat. He sat at their feet, very happy and very fat. They call him Charlie Anderson now. Sometimes in bed at night, Elizabeth asks him, who do you love best, Charlie Anderson? And she can hear him purring in the dark. Just like Elizabeth and Sarah, Charlie has two houses, two beds, two families who love him. He's a lucky cat. I love this story. I think it's very funny that they don't realize that Charlie has been spending nights at, with the girls, but spending days with this couple. So during the nighttime, his name is Charlie, but during the daytime, his name is Anderson. He's the same cat. He's not really hanging out in the <coughs> woods. He's just going to someone else's house. So now they call him Charlie Anderson and they share him. So I think this is a very fun story. And that is the end.